Ochi Park. Uh. Hands off you. Yeah. I can't keep my hands off you. Her. Hands off you. You. I can't keep my hands off you. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Even if you're new here, this is my channel and my name is Mahalia. So in today's video, matter of fact, before we get to this video, I already know. My quality is crap right now because my camera is messed up. So, you're going to have to cut me some slack because my camera's broke. I have nothing else to use. So, I'm using my phone and my phone quality is crap as you can tell. But, before we get into this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I say this on every video. <laughs> please subscribe. And, um... Yeah, and already you can tell by the title, I'm looking at my paper, you can tell by the title that I'm going to be telling you guys nine things you could do to keep your relationship alive. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about my relationship, how'd y'all last six years, da 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 da. So I'm just going to put it on YouTube so you guys can see so y'all can stop asking me. Alright, so first thing, step one, communication. <sighs> communication. I feel like communication is a big role in a relationship because I've seen many relationships where <sighs> couples will argue about things that doesn't even have to do with what's going on. Like they'll argue about stuff that's not even supposed you're not even supposed to argue about it. Like they argue about couples argue about things that doesn't it has to do with your relationship. Like they argue about dumb things. That's how I'm going to say it. They argue about dumb things. And um, when you're arguing, one thing leads to another. And then you start bringing up the past. And then it gets crazy. But with communication, I feel like y'all guys should, if you're you know arguing a lot for the relationships out there that are arguing a lot, I think y'all should sit down, make a list of things you want your man to do for the women. And then the women make a list. I mean, and then the man make a list for what you want the woman to do. And what you want them to change. And y'all should come together. And I feel like y'all should talk about, you know, the problems that y'all having with each other. Because I feel like that will solve the problem. It's something I have did before. And it, it worked before, you know. But it can be like, there's times where it wouldn't work. And we still have our disagreements. Which every relationship argues. So, it's really not, you know, nothing you really can do with that. But I think when you communicate, it knocks off all the stuff that has nothing to do with your relationship. It knocks off all the dumb, dumb things that that has nothing to do with it. And um, communication is the key. So when you communicate, you can get everything off each other's chest and y'all can sit down and talk about it. And so I think that's number one. And being honest is number two. Number two is being honest. I feel like when you're being honest with each other, you're letting them know right off the bat. Like, this is this. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you this so you will know. So don't even come barking at me whenever this happens or that happens. Being honest is also a big um, thing in a relationship. Because I feel like when you're being honest with someone, they, you know what I'm saying? They get in that part of you and they're going to always trust you because they know that. You're going to be honest. They're not even going to have a thing, like a thought in the back of their head. Like, she probably doing this. She probably doing that. She probably not. He ain't even got to, he or she don't even have to think about that. Because they know that when that happens, she's going to be honest up front with that person. So, try to um, gain each other's honesty. I think that's really good. Uh, their trust, you know. So, number three. Doing things to spice up your relationship. Um... Thinking outside the box, doing things outside the box, do things you never done before, do things where you're like, I'm gonna do this today, I'm gonna make him feel good today, I'm gonna make her feel good today, you know, do things where, you know, something that's gonna surprise him or her, your spouse, that something's gonna surprise them, like, I'm gonna do this because I really feel like a good person today. Well, try to be that good person every weekend every two days every week you know out of the week or something it doesn't have to be nothing big it could be something small like literally something small and I feel like the small things do count also so that's something else and then thing number four know your spouse daily routine 
I feel like, oh, uh, I feel like this is, you know, a big role. Also, I think all of these are actually a big role. I'm going to keep saying it, but I think they all are, honestly. <laughs> I feel like know your spouse daily, daily routine, because if your spouse going to wake up in the morning and you know what they do every morning, and then you come in, him or her, it doesn't matter, and you interrupt them from doing what they usually do every morning. Like, that's going to irritate somebody. Like, you know that that's what that person do every morning. You know that's what that person do every night. Don't come and interrupt them from doing things that they, you know, do. You got to give your spouse space also. So, giving them space, letting them do what they usually do. I'm not saying not give each other time, you know, together. I'm just saying, if you know that person is doing this around 2 o'clock like they usually do, don't interrupt them. Don't stop them. Don't try to, like get in the way of what they're doing even though you know you probably want that tension now and then just wait a minute you know y'all should make a time for y'all both to have attention to each other make a couple of hours or two or whatever in a day so y'all don't have to interrupt each other's uh things that y'all usually do on a daily routine okay and another thing is compliment each other compliment each other more Let's say that because I feel like if a girl uh, say that she's insecure about herself and she's actually tried to look cute this day, even though the man don't think that it was all that cute. If she's trying to look cute that day, compliment her. Let her know that, okay, I see you, you know what I'm saying? It's cute or whatever. And if you feel like she needs to do better, tell her. If you feel like she doesn't need to do all that, tell her. That's another thing, being honest. Tell her or tell him. So I think that's uh, pretty cool too. And like on anything, you can compliment him on a new hairdo, uh, on doing better in life or accomplishing goals that they've been wanting to accomplish. You know, certain things like that also. That's a big key. Always compliment your man or woman. Always, always, always. It don't matter if you do it five times a day. Don't do it 10 times because it might be um, annoying. So do it like five times, maybe three times. I think that's pretty good too. Sorry, I'm y'all, I'm looking at this and it's right here on the side, like I said. Okay, so being romantic, like sending um, romantic text messages or buying her flowers. You don't even have to go the whole mile. You honestly can send literally a message every every three days to let her know that she is wanted to let her know that you do want her or he do want you know or she wants him you know i'm talking about for the men and the women sorry i'm speaking for women sorry men and women this is for men and women <laughs> so um do that so they'll know like you know what i'm saying maybe he do love me or so don't even have to have that second thought, honestly. It's it's not great for a man or woman to have that second thought. Maybe he do it. He don't love me. It's really bad when that thought actually comes to their head. So I'm telling you things to do so they don't have that thought in the back of their head. So they don't have, you know, to think about doing anything. Oh, uh, making a plan that if she do this to me, then I'm going to leave her or leave him. You know, make it to where they don't even have to think about that, honestly. Make them feel special make them feel like they're here for a reason make them feel like you know we in this together and we're gonna you know what i'm saying we're gonna grow old together that's really a good thing too um like i said it don't have to be nothing extra expensive it does not have to be expensive the little thing counts it really really do it could be buy her some chocolate i'm telling you buy her some chocolate it's a dollar at the dollar tree or at the dollar store a whole bag of chocolate. Who don't like chocolate? I mean, I know people don't like chocolate, but... Or candy. Or buy them, you know, things that they've been talking about they needed that doesn't cost that much. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be a lot of money. But if you want to spend a lot of money, hey, that's on you. Do that then. <laughs> okay, and then another thing is treat your spouse with respect. This is also good. Treat them with respect. Do that. I'm telling you. Always, like, when y'all are talking, this is another thing. When y'all are talking, give him or her con eye contact. That's also a good thing. Because if he's talking to you, you your eyes are wandering around and stuff. He's going to be like, are you even listening to me? Or she's going to be like, are you even listening to me? She's probably talking about something that's really important to her in life. Or he's probably talking about something that's really important to his life. And he probably accomplished something. She probably accomplished something. And they want you to know, like, 
Hey, you know what I'm saying? Guess what happened? Give them eye contact. Let them know that you are listening, that you are a listening ear, that you are there for them. Let them know that, you know what I'm saying, whatever you need or want or whatever you, you know what I'm saying, that they are there for you. Do not, do not look around and wonder, you know, do not have the wonder eyes when your man is talking to you. Look them in the eye and tell them, I understand. Let them know that you understand what's going on. Let them know that you're down for them. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like this. Okay, whatever. Don't be do That's disrespectful. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Do not do that. Okay. Uh, appreciate each other. So, this can go far too. Also, appreciating your man is great. Or woman. It's great. Because it don't matter if he gave you some deodorant. Say he gave you some deodorant or you gave him some deodorant. Appreciate that because there's people out here that does not have deodorant. There's people out here who struggling to make a couple of dollars just for deodorant. I'm telling you, appreciate everything. I don't care if it's uh, some water. I don't care if he brings some water to you. It was like, I seen that you were hot. So I bring you some water. Appreciate it. Okay. Say thank you. Everything he gives you, you ain't got, I'm not telling, saying everything. Everything he gives you, you ain't got to say thing. I'm just saying. I mean, you do, but you don't. I'm just saying, appreciate it. When he <clears throat> cleans the house for you, and you're like, oh, why are you cleaning the house? Appreciate it. Don't even ask questions. It's appreciated. Or the same for the female. Or if he buy you little things, and like, oh, you don't have to. Or if he buy you food that day, or all week, or all month, appreciate it. Always tell him thank you because in his head when he's doing when he's doing that stuff for you or when she's doing that for you and you appreciate and they're feeling appreciated when you appreciate them, they're gonna always feel appreciated like oh I'm gonna do this for it because I think that's the only one that appreciate me and also the same for when women doing it for men. It don't matter what it is, you know. I'm not saying spoil your girl or your man. I'm just saying appreciate them when they do buy you things or when they don't. Okay, even if they give you a hug or a kiss, appreciate it. <laughs> okay, engage with one another. Okay, so I know some relationships are busy, like the mom is busy or the dad's busy or the boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever you have kids or not, and y'all are busy. I say mom and dad because most moms and dads are busy. I'm not saying women aren't or men ain't. I'm just saying they're mostly busy. And I say engage with each, with each other because I've seen sometimes where men will be so up their homeboys' ass. Sorry, but they be up their homeboys' ass. And it's like, it seems like, <clears throat> how do I say this? It seems like they're more up their homeboys' ass than your ass. So, <laughs> I'm not, you know. So I'm just saying like when that happens like try to think about it like if you're in that moment and you know you're not hanging with your girlfriend or your man and you know you've been hanging out with your girl or your homeboys for a while think about it you know what I'm saying think on it be like well I'm going to hang out with him more because this is my man I want him to feel like I am interested in him I'm not saying that you are you're not I'm just saying I want him to feel that way so I'm going to engage in more in, in activities with him. Y'all do things together. Get, I'm telling you, y'all can do all kinds of stuff together. You know what I'm saying? And then some things you don't even have to cost, you know, money. Y'all can literally make like three different jars. Um, you can make a jar and on a popsicle stick, put on those popsicle sticks things you can do that do not cost money. Walking in the park, a picnic, you know what I'm saying? Watching views, going to the lake, walking on the lake, playing basketball, working out at your house. None of that stuff costs money, okay? You can put that on a pop popsicle stick, put it in a jar. When that day comes, oh, we don't have that much money, you know what I'm saying, and we want to hang out today. Oh, so let's pick out of the jar where you ain't got to spend money. So someone, the man or the woman, pick out the jar and see what y'all want to do that day. Look at the popsicle stick. If it said, ooh, let's go walk on the park. That's something to do to get out the house. You don't have to be sitting in the house. People that you got to spend money. You can go walk in downtown. You can go walk in midtown. It don't matter. Go, you know, you can do something that does not cost, everything does not cost money. Let me say that. You can play games at your house. Play with the cards, board games. 
Y'all got to make your relationship interesting and fun. You can't just be like, oh, that's not fun. You got to make it fun. You got everything in life. You got to make it the way you want it to be. <laughs> everything that's given to you is not how you want it to be, right? So make it how you want it to be. Make it fun. Make it interesting. Make it feel more alive. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. And then you can have a jar where you can put on the popsicle stick. Oh, things... You know, make it say something about going traveling or something like that. Put on their different places you want to go traveling. And you pick out it. Oh, we're traveling to here today. It don't have to be far. It could be far. It don't have to be out of state. It could be out of state. I'm just saying some things. And then you can make another jar. You know, things to do with just a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? Um, going out to eat at a small restaurant. 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 Ten dollars for both for you, for you guys, or twenty for both. Whatever is in y'all's budget, you know, make a budget bucket, <laughs> a small budget bucket, <laughs> and then put on there things that y'all want to do that doesn't cost as much money, and pick from the bucket and read it off, and then go do that. People think that you gotta have a lot of money to do a lot of stuff. Don't get me wrong, you do need money to do a you know a lot of stuff, but some stuff you don't need a lot of money to do so that's also cool i feel like that anyways you don't you really don't um but yeah those are the nine things to keep your relationship alive you know strong more on the spicy side um to keep it going some words for it um i don't know <laughs> any other ones if I missed any and y'all feel like I missed some or some did I not go over, please let me know down below. Please comment down below because I would like to know some things myself. Actually, everybody's a learning process, so I am too, and I want to know too. I'm just telling you things that I have went through and I've known that you can probably try. Maybe make your relationship more alive, a little bit better, knock some of all that negative stuff down. Um, so, yeah. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I know I already said this, but please subscribe. Um, like this video, comment this video, share this video, put on that post notification so y'all know when my videos come through, when it come through, through, through. Yeah, when the videos come through, go ahead and hit that bell. I'm going to sit here and wait till y'all do that. I'm going to give you some time. I'm going to mark this off my booklet let me get y'all some time because i need y'all to subscribe I'm, i need a hundred subscribers that's what i need i need a hundred subscribers it'll be great i really would appreciate it and are y'all done subscribing if so thank you guys and i'll see y'all my next video bye oh, Yeah. I can't keep my hands